All right, I know I love this one already because look at our little animal friends. They are felted. That takes so much time to do these. I mean, I guess when you're talented and really experienced, it doesn't take as long. But each and every single item on this screen that you see in the picture, that's handmade. I'm really excited about this story. It's called Tiger's Delicious Treats. It's from the Storyweaver site, which is an open copyright site full of beautiful stories from all over the world that have been translated in large part by volunteers. Um, this particular story is from Room to Read. It's a level two, which means it's not as easy as a level one, but it's pretty close. Um, so it's just a step up. Now, as we can see, here's a tiger trying to sell some yummy treats. Looks like flower. I'm not sure why this looks like a friend who's in a basket. That doesn't look great. A fox, rabbit, monkey, pig. Mm, is that a squirrel? chicken or a chick this looks like a very small cow deer the author is um i'm totally gonna butcher these names i'm so sorry they look tied to me but who knows um and by who knows i mean not me right now because i didn't look i'm so sorry um yuguen uh trantian yok um illustrator is le tie yan tu um, the translator is Alicia Berger. I still love it. Alright. Um, it's about tigers trying to sell things. I love the flowers and embroidery. Tiger lives in a forest. He loves to bake. And look, he's got all these supplies and a whisk and he's so happy look at his face his smile so big and his cheeks are red with excitement and he's got croissants and is that a donut and other things that I'm not entirely sure what they are but I'm sure they're delicious for our little felty animal friends one day he bakes a delicious batch of green bean pies. He loads them on a cart and goes to the stream to sell them. Oh, look, here's our little reindeer friend or deer. I don't think he's a reindeer. I'm sorry. And he's got pies with beans. Oh, look at him. He's still so excited. And he's do, 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 do. Do you think he might have a problem with the other animals believing that he wants to sell them yummy food? Maybe. I love the mixed media here. The wind carries the aroma of pies through the air. Oh, look. Mmm. <gasps> These are hard, so yummy, yummy, yummy. The scent reaches deer, but he doesn't dare to follow the scent. He's scared of tiger. Oh my word. He's scared of tiger. Goodness grief. He, but he's so excited about, the, about it. He's drooling. But... And Tiger is so excited, he's he's sweating. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen? <gasps> it's noon, but Tiger still hasn't sold a thing. He returns home with his cart, disappointed. Oh, look at his face. His ears are down, his mouth is down. His eyes are down as he pushes his cart away, and the deer is sad too. 
I love the detail on the deer's tail, by the way. It's so cute. What is he gonna do? Tiger eats all the green bean pies that night. His tummy is so full. Ooh, I bet that would hurt being so full, even if they're yummy. Looks like there's a little bit of lace here with the flowers for his rug. <gasps> so adorable. But oh, poor Tiger. The next day, Tiger bakes a delicious batch of banana pies. He goes to sell them under an ancient tree. Mmm. Okay, so the beans are always on the cart, but banana pies, that sounds yummy. Who do you think might be tempted? Hmm? Is it monkey? It's monkey, I'm sure. The steam from Tiger's cart carries the aroma of the pies up, 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 straight into Monkey's nose. Oh my goodness, Monkey wants those pies. They smell <laughs> so good. Monkey wants to taste the pies, but he doesn't dare to climb down. He's scared of tiger. Oh, but look, it looks so yummy, but so hard. Oh, he really wants those pies. But drool, 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 drool. And tiger really wants to sell them. It's noon, and Tiger hasn't sold anything. He returns home with his cart. <sighs> Discouraged. Ooh, his cart has bananas on it now. Did it? When did it stop at? Uh, beans. So he, while he was waiting, he must have made the cart look like bananas. And there, the monkey sad, and the tiger sad, and nobody bought the pies. What do you think is going to happen next? Do you think Tiger is going to have to eat them for dinner? Oh my goodness, look at his belly! Oh my goodness! He eats all the banana pies that night. His tummy is so, so full. Oh my goodness, poor Tiger. On the third day, Tiger bakes delicious sweet potato pies and goes to the meadow at the edge of the forest to sell them. Mmm, who's gonna be tempted this time? You're yeah, right if you said piggy. Oh, I love the little doilies. Sweet potato aroma spreads across the meadow. It reaches pig. Mmm. Little hearts on Piggy's face. Pig starts feeling hungry. But Pig is afraid of Tiger. Oh, look, he's shaking. That's what those little wiggly lines mean. But he's drooling because it smells so good. And again, Tiger is sweating. Oh, that looks really pretty. It's noon, but Tiger still hasn't sold anything. He returns home with his cart, sadder than ever. <laughs> and Peggy is crying. <laughs> Goodness, no one wanted his sweet potato pies. Or did they? As far as Tiger knew. He eats all of the sweet potato pies that night. His tummy is now as big as a balloon. Oh my goodness, I think he's going to get hurt. It's so big. Alright, well, 17 out of 33. We're almost, almost getting there. 
On the fourth day, Tiger doesn't bake anything. He is determined to find out why nobody is buying his delicious pies. Why oh why? He sees deer, monkey, and pig sitting on a grassy knoll. Now this K-N means that the K is shh, quiet. And it means small hill. So they're all laying on or sitting on a small hill. Hmm, I wonder what Tiger is going to find out. He hears them talking. Monkey says, Tiger's pies smell so delicious. Pig says, I'm dying to eat one. Deer says, But we are all afraid of Tiger. And deer and pig are shivering at the thought of it, but they're all drooling at the thought of those pies. Tiger has an idea. I wonder what his idea is. On the fifth day, Tiger makes three sets of pies. Green bean, banana, and sweet potato. He stuffs them into his biggest cart. Oh, look, and he put beans, sweet potato, and banana. Look how tall they are. Oh, my goodness. He rolls around in white flour. <laughs> ah, was he going to disguise himself? I love the cotton batting being, uh, or the, like poly, polyfill being the flower here. He cuts off his claws. Oh, he's trimming his toenails. He puts on a pair of long ears. Ooh, what is he disguising himself as? A bunny rabbit. Now, Tiger looks like a bunny. How cute. He eagerly rolls his cart to the grassy knoll. Do 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 do. Look, his legs are so far apart because he's running. After some time, someone calls out, We want to buy some pies. Tiger looks around and is very surprised. Oh! <gasps> His eyes are coming out of his head. His mouth is dropped wide open. And what does he see? (gasps) But three tigers coming to buy his pies. Are they tigers? (laughs) No, it's pig, deer, and monkey. One has a big nose and big ears. Hmm... One has a pair of antlers. Mmm. One has long arms. And look at that long tail, too. The tiger recognizes pig, deer, and monkey immediately. The other three also recognize tiger. The four of them burst out laughing. (laughs) They all had the same idea. Nobody is afraid of Tiger anymore. They all became friends. His bakery becomes the most popular place in the entire forest. Every day, Tiger sells out of pies before noon. Every day, wow! Look at all of the animals who have come to eat his pies. Ooh, look at all the different foods. It's so cute. I love it. Look at that one. Which one's your favorite? 
Mm, that's tough to say, huh? I really liked the banana pies. They look extra yummy to me. So the banana pies were these round ones, and the sweet potato pies were the long ones. See? Long, long strips of the sweet potato pies. And here's the banana pies. They look so yummy. Sorry about cooking so fast. But, see? You can be brave and try and reach out to someone else. Just because they're different doesn't mean they're bad. It is often worth it to take a chance. I hope you enjoyed the story. I definitely did. Was it okay? Did you like it? Or did you love it? I'm going to say I loved it. Thanks so much for watching and you have a great day.